In this video, we will prove that sine of iota z is equal to iota times hyperbolic sine of z, where z is a complex number. This identity is also called Osborne's rule. So, first of all, we know that sine of z is equal to e to the power iota z minus e to the power minus iota z upon 2 iota. Now, we will put iota z in place of this, this z. So we will put iota z in place of this z and this z. So we have e to the power iota times iota z minus e to the power minus iota times iota z upon 2 iota. Now iota times iota z is equal to iota square z minus minus iota times iota z is minus iota square z upon 2 iota. Now we know that iota square is equal to minus 1 so we will put minus 1 over here so we have e to the power minus 1 times z minus e to the power minus times minus 1 times z upon 2 iota. Now we can multiply this fraction by iota over iota so we have e to the power minus z minus e to the power z upon 2 iota square multiply by iota now again we can put the value of iota square which is minus 1 so we have e to the power minus z minus e to the power z upon 2 times minus 1 multiply by iota now we can take minus sign common from the numerator so we have minus, minus times e to the power z minus e to the power minus z upon minus 2 multiply by iota now we can cancel these minus signs so we have e to the power z minus e to the power minus z upon 2 times iota and we know that this is the formula of hyperbolic sign so we can put hyperbolic sine of z multiply by iota or we can write iota times hyperbolic sine of z so sine of iota z is equal to iota times hyperbolic sine of z so this is what was to be shown and this is also called the Osborne rule